I've reprogrammed the controller as an ASCOM remote server and to do that I've uh, removed the two leading slashes from the define ASCOM remote shouldn't operate this with the web server operating and I'm operating in uh, access point mode so I've connected to the access point here and um, so what we want to be able to do is we want to be able to load up um, that's not oh, we don't need a web browser okay so we need to install the ASCOM remote um, files etc so we're going to do that so this is uh, you download this from the ASCOM alpaca site uh, so we're going to run this um, and install it because this gives us access to a ASCOM remote client which we're going to use so we'll just go next and install all of this now, unless you've got an ASCOM client that already supports Alpaca um, most, most people probably don't at this stage um, new versions of CC CL is it uh, support it right so let's finish uh, let's go to the ASCOM remote and we want to configure it so yes let's configure it we've got one focuser etc so let's click apply And let's click it, exit and let's load up a, a um, ASCOM tester uh, which is this uh, so let's go choose we should now find the ASCOM remote client which we've got so let's go properties and let's go over to here so the IP address of the ASCOM remote server on the controller is one same as the access point number 192.168.4.1 just making sure I'm typing it incorrect the default port number is 4040 so let's type that in can be changed of course and the remote device number is always zero so let's click OK let's click OK and let's click connect and we are connected you can see it scrolling through it's getting all the parameters um, and it's come back 5000 uh, max depth position temperature is such and such let me just hold it down for a little while uh, to warm up the temperature probe and let's now use a get and we can see that the temperature has gone up so that's pretty cool let's see if we can move the focuser and you can see that it moved and let's go plus 100 steps from where we are so it's moving and it's moving quite slowly um, at the moment all this is beta and we'll uh, we'll speed it up so there we go the focus is moving backwards and forwards um, I, can I get the step size for example uh, get the step size yeah it's 2.2 .2, which is cool get some actions and it tells you these are all the supported ink, actions of the uh, ASCOM server running on the controller um, can I get the position yeah can I change the position um, like do a move way it moves can I hold it yes I can so you can see that everything's working fine um, speeds slow but we're going to speed it up um, but I, and yes temperature compensation works too um, maybe that'll be another video uh, but you can see that it's all working uh, via ASCOM remote there are no USB cables or anything connected so it's all Wi-Fi and I'm using an ASCOM uh, remote client to actually access the server.